Uh, the 72 safety deposit boxes uh, were left empty after they were raided over Easter weekend in London's Hatton Garden. The police revealed photographs from inside the scene of the crime this week. What did they show? Oh, they showed this amazing um, tunnel that had been dug out by mm. um, the people who were involved. But the odd thing was, I read somewhere that they, everybody was confused because apparently one of the men would be too large to fit in it. They just need one little chappy and he opens the door, doesn't he? My... One little chappy. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> he it's goes not through this hole. Twist. In my... <laughs> I'd be interviewing jockeys. <laughs> in my experience of blowing safes, yeah. Just yeah. One, one of them needs to be, like the little chap in Ocean's Eleven. Yeah. Now, the police goes... have uh, put out a, a notice. Through. They are looking for a little chappy to help them with their inquiries. <laughs> Do we know who any of the victims are yet? Mostly jewellery owners. Mostly jewellery owners. <laughs> Lots of, lots of gangsters, lots of the things in safety deposit boxes are stolen, aren't they? Just because, you you know, you're not allowed to go and look in safety deposit boxes, so anything you steal, Stephen, you can put in a safe deposit box. <laughs> it could be a material thing, could be a concept, somebody else's idea, you put it away in there. <laughs> um, could so, be the best dressing room. Um, yeah. <laughs> uh, sports direct. Sp sports direct. <laughs> do they do grey and baggy? <laughs> They'll serve anybody. <laughs>